so this is a gorgeous beach getaway. But many of you have asked me, how's the internet and can I work from the beach? Yes, you can. Let's talk about telecom in Puerto Rico. Hi, I'm Jen from Jen There Done That, and I'm on the beach, but I am still getting a little bit of work done. Many of you have asked me about internet, Wi-Fi, cell phone service here in Puerto Rico. So let's talk about telecom around the island. So to get started, the best two phone carriers are AT&T and T-Mobile. They have the best coverage and the best signal strength around the island for mobile phone service. Claro is our local cell phone company, and they have plans that start around $20 a month. They are not the best. Um, if you have an option of going AT&T or T-Mobile, they are much better than Claro. But Claro is still our local telecom here on the island, and if you are on Verizon or Sprint, you're going to be working on extended network mode on the Claro network. So. AT&T and T-Mobile are always, always, always your best bet. Some people have Verizon and for certain areas it works just fine for them, but if you want the best, AT&T and T-Mobile are your best options. There's 4G coverage around the entire island and our 5G rollout has already started in certain areas. I actually saw the 5G cable uh, and delivered, but not being installed yet, in Palmas del Mar when I was over there in the last week or so ago. For Wi-Fi, when you're sitting on the beach, you can absolutely use your phone hotspot. Uh, T-Mobile or AT&T hotspots work great. If you're going to be moving to Puerto Rico and living in Puerto Rico, you still need to get a good internet provider. I personally like Liberty. I think that they're the best on the island, but many people use the Claro DSL, especially in Metro San Juan, and they report it being pretty fast. So let's talk numbers. A friend of mine on Claro in the Metro San Juan area reported a latency for about 50 milliseconds and then a couple hundred megabytes per second upload, which is pretty darn good. I think that Liberty has the best plans and the best service on the island, but it's not really a high bar. There are three different plans for Liberty. One is $60 a month, it's 90 down, and up to 9 up, which is pretty terrible. They have $80 a month for 250 down and 25 up. What I'm seeing with that plan is it's usually close to 240 down and I see sometimes 40 and 50 up, even though they don't necessarily advertise that. And then their most expensive plan is $171 a month with speeds up to 500 down and up to 30 up is what they advertise. But again, you're gonna see slightly different speeds in different areas, so make sure you're testing it. I I'm a big fan of running speed tests, so before you sign a long-term lease, send a text message, check your cell phone coverage, and run a speed test on your Wi-Fi. When Liberty or Claro do go out, I also recommend getting a HughesNet or some other backup internet. HughesNet is the satellite internet that I used for the last several years. Um, plans start around $60 a month for the cheapest one, and that was always what I needed to get by. There's also uh, Aeronet, Oznet, a whole bunch of other backup options. I don't recommend them for primary unless you're just uh, retired and an occasional internet user. We also have Starlink coming in 2022 to Puerto Rico, so sign up now and I will definitely be testing those out when we get that service. So I'll leave a couple of the speed tests here and here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos from Jen There Done That, Living in Puerto Rico.